Hi guys! Hello everybody! Welcome back to our channel. <laughs> we are getting ready for Easter and all the spring beauty. Hello, my name is Unicorn. Hello, little Unicorn. So today we're going to make a beautiful wreath. wreath. Uh, Easter or just spring wreath? I know this might sound weird, but we're doing it out of egg cartons. Yes, we'll use this to make a pretty, pretty wreath. And it's not only going to be an Easter wreath, but since it will be flowers, it will be just a pretty spring wreath. So we'll use this uh, wreath um, we did like shape from uh, a Dollar Tree. It's one dollar. We did like a lot of wreaths out of this. Yes. You just need to buy one and you can just make thousands of wreaths. Yeah, if you want to rearrange them. Or you can buy a new one for each single one and then store them somewhere. So, we'll use these and we'll try to cut out these little things and then shape them into flowers and then paint them beautifully. Yes, yeah, so let's get the scissors. Yeah, so I think that we'll use both these parts and also maybe even these parts and try what kind of flowers we can make from them. Okay? This is Mona. Hello. So I basically just cut off a little piece and then I'll try to cut off beautiful shapes around and to we're make just it like hot little petals. Yes, and then we'll make many of them Wait, and we we'll glue like them. This? It looks more like um, a tulip. Yeah, like a tulip, right? It looks very, it's very beautiful. So there you go. It kind of looks like a flower. When we'll, uh, Mai is preparing, uh, we have a lot of acrylic paints. A lot. Like so, a lot. Yeah, so Mai will paint them beautifully and then we'll see how we well, arrange them. Maybe we'll make up different shapes of flowers, I think, to make it like more a bouquet. And uh, we'll think of what to put inside to cover these holes. So we have this tulip. Yes, so let me show. We have uh, several flowers already, so they're kind of, you can make them round like edges, four. or Maya has the sharp edges one. And you have to cut them in bo both sides, right? With acrylic um, paints, because uh, they will be seen from everywhere, from all the sides. Mm -hmm. So they are how we... Uh, split or work. Mai is uh, painting them and I am cutting them. And it will not stay on your fingers forever, it will just wash off. Here. Yes. Here Maya goes, uh, yes, she's yes, painting yes. the flowers beautifully. And also we have some more. And also I just discovered this part makes pretty flowers, these mm -hmm. from this side. Here how they look. Beautiful, tiny, they're smaller, but they're really pretty. Kind of looks like daffodils a little. Daffodils. Daffodils. Uh, there, I made a lot of flowers of different shapes. I've got everything I could from these boxes. So they're different. Some of them are like this shaped. And some of them are tiny from other parts. So I, I made all of it. <laughs> some So some of them are already colored. They look pretty nicely when they're colored. Uh, and also I've made leaves from uh, the edges of the box to uh, make them, like to hide the uh, wire and to make them like more realistic with flowers. Um, okay, so this is my progress for today. Uh, it's a long project though. We've been doing this for three or four, fourth, it's the fourth day today actually. Uh, we have a lot of flowers, many of them, different shapes and colors. We made it colorful. We also made a lot of leaves, uh, both folded and um, straight. And we also decided to make a little green wreath, like a circle. Uh, to make it easier, because uh, the main uh, wire wreath would not be very comfortable to um, glue the things directly, since see, they're very uh, small pieces which will connect and it won't fall, and we also didn't want the wire to... 
and my idea was to just take the wire wreath, put this hot glue this one on top, and then uh, do all the next layers. First to glue the leaves and then the flowers on top. And then that in this way we'll make sure that there is no like weird looking pieces of wire. There it is. Hi guys. Hey, Maya is back. And uh, here is our um, Easter Easter eggs. Um, Easter egg tree. Tree, yeah. Yes. We took a pine tree branch. And if you didn't know, my tooth is about to fall out. Oh, lucky you. I'm about to get money. So, uh, first we have this thing, the wreath, and now first we're gonna arrange the leaves. First, we'll just arrange them. Uh, yes. We'll just arrange them all over. Uh, to see where we need to glue them. So first, to make sure that it's enough uh, everywhere, right, in all the places, all the wreath, and then we'll hot glue them. That's how we got it. We have to be careful because we're using a hot glue gun. So first we're going to take a leaf like this, put some right on the bottom like that, and then stick it on. All done. All done. Does That's it easy. Yeah, it's That's easy. easy. There we go. Pretty leaf wreath. Right. And now we'll just do the same. We'll arrange... That kind of rhymes. East leaf wreath. <laughs> leaf Sorry. wreath, yeah. We'll arrange the flowers all over to spread them even, right? And uh, then we'll glue them as well. And I'm done. I think it turned out really pretty. Very festive and it's not only for Easter but it's just a nice beautiful spring wreath. So I'm going to hang it out. I think I'm gonna keep it right here inside by the front door. Wait, because you know? we're going to spend our quarantining time right here in the house and then we'll just see it uh, all the time and it's gonna be pretty so you still have time to do it if you want I hope you like this little like uh, amateur tutorial and wish you happy Easter and happy spring Merry Easter <laughs> Happy Easter, guys. Thank you for likes and subscribing. Bye.